So, kasi yung CC cream naman, sobrang, sobrang... <laughs> Hi guys, Frizzle here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing another first impression review of another CC cream. This time, it will be the Revlon Absolute Radiance CC cream. It has SPF 30 PA++. I got this one in Ayala Center, Cebu. It has a separate like, Revlon aisle dun sa gilid lang. And I got this for 400 pesos. It was originally 700 plus. I'm not exactly sure what's the original price, but she told me it was 700 plus. I actually thought it was 200. Ang ko kasi like 200 so I was like okay I'll get it and then nung magbabayad na ako sabi niya 400 po so I was like okay napasuko na ako so pinili ko na I already told you that story on my um, haul I decided to get this because I have their BB cream and I love their BB cream so I was like maybe I will like the CC cream as well because again I love the BB cream I got mine in 030 natural beige the packaging looks like that it's in a very simple white and black packaging and yeah ganyan lang napaka simple okay i'll go ahead and show you guys the clip of me applying this on my face i will go ahead and apply this on my face right now i'm just gonna shake it well before using kasi same with the bb cream kapag hindi mo siya shake ng maayos meron siyang moisturizing oil na parang nagsa-separate so kailangan mo siyang i-mix ng maayos from shaking it na feel ko na na parang very liquidy ng consistency niya yung oil niya different from the bb cream yung bb cream kasi yung oil niya ano eh parang clear Ito, it has like uh, parang pink na oil. Let me show you guys. Can you see the pinkish oil? I'm not really sure if you can tell, but parang yung oil niya, parang pinkish. Okay, before I start, I have oily skin. I have some blemishes right here from my old pimple. And then redness around my nose. I will go ahead and apply this on the right side. And then I will be using my fingers. Super nagmamatch yung skin tone ko, which I really like. Apaka light ng coverage niya. Nakikita ko pa rin yung blemishes ko, but not as visible as it was before we applied it. And then yung redness ko, meron pa rin konte. I will go ahead and apply it on the rest of my face. I will try a brush this time and see if it will blend as good as my fingers did. Yeah, it's still super nice with a brush. Actually, I kind of like it better with a brush. The finish looks better. Okay, that's what it looks like on my face right now. It has um, a dewy finish as you guys can see. So I will go ahead and finish up my face, apply blush and eyebrows. I just finished up my face wala I have lipstick because I'm going to do a separate review on uh, lipstick that I will be wearing right now. So I just filled in my brows, applied some blush, and then I set uh, my CC cream with uh, the Nishidu Final Powder in the shade creamy glow I'm actually really liking how it looks like on me the shade matched perfectly and um, it doesn't feel heavy on the face at all it doesn't feel in it it feels really nice I feel really good about it right now it is now 11.58 ng umaga. May mga powder talaga yung phone ko. 11.58 ng umaga. I will get back to you guys later for an update. It's now 4 ng hapon. And um, the CC cream, sobrang naging oily yung face ko. Mga 1... One to two hours after applying it earlier. So, nag-blot ako kanina kasi sobrang oily talaga ng mukha ko and kailangan namin lumabas kasi bumili kami ng halo-halo. So, kailangan ko mag-blot. But, this is what it looks like after blotting it um, two hours after my first update. Um, I can see na nag-oil up yung T-zone ko. Hindi as oily as earlier though. Grabe talaga kanina. Sobrang oily. Sobrang init din naman kasi as in sobra. Kahit nandito lang ako sa loob ng bahay, sobrang init. As you can see, par parang nag-fade off na yung CC cream sa um, some parts of my face. Nakikita ko na yung redness around my nose. Um, yung totoong redness talaga kasi kanina na-cover siya medyo lightly eh. Ngayon, nakikita ko na parang nag-fade off na siya there and saka dito din sa temples ko ng konti. I'm just gonna blot and I will show you guys the oils. Okay, so this is what the blotting sheet looks like and it's not as bad kasi nga, diba, nag-blot na ako kanina. Pero na mumuong CC cream dito sa ibabaw ng lip ko. I will give you guys a close-up for you to see it. I can't say I hate it, 
but I don't like it as much as um, the BB cream that I have from them because that one I really really like that one is more long lasting than this one this is definitely not long lasting so brown oily nito sa skin um, compared to the BB cream the B I, I really have oily skin din kasi the BB cream oils up on me but not as bad as this one I'm not gonna retouch kasi okay okay pa naman siya tingnan hindi naman siya as in sobrang sama kasi yung CC cream nagmatch sa si skin tone ko so kapag nag fade off siya hindi naman siya ganun kasama tingnan it looks okay pa din naman diba I will get back to you guys later for the final update it is now 9.28 ng gabi. As you guys can see, sobrang oily ko na as in grabe. This CC cream though, I don't know what's in it. Sobrang nagiging oily yung face ko. Hindi ako namabas ng bahay. Dito lang ako and ganito na yung mukha ko. Nag-nap lang ako kanina ng mga 2 hours. Tapos naka-aircon pa ako nung nag-nap ako. And then pagising ko talaga as in sobrang oily ng face ko. I mean, paglabas ko na, hindi sa kwarto ko. Paglabas ko na, as in sobrang nag-oil up na yung face ko. Hindi ko alam kung bak. Maybe this CC cream is just way too oily for me. I will go ahead and blot and show you guys. And it's not just my T-zone, it's like all over my face. Okay, so ganyan yung blotting sheet. As you can see, napaka oily niya. And nawala na yung CC cream after ko nag-blot. Nawala na siya. Parang wala na talaga siya. It doesn't feel heavy at all though. Hindi siya ganun ka long lasting. Kanina nga nung pag-update ko, diba, nag-fade off na siya some of the areas of my face. So, hindi siya ganun ka long lasting. Siguro, if you have dry skin, it will work great on you kasi nga sobrang nag-oil up siya. But, for me, it didn't work out. That's great! I'm not gonna buy it like 700 plus. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna recommend you guys buy it for that price. If it's on sale and you want to dry it, then go ahead especially if you have dry skin. But if you have oily skin, nakita nyo naman kung gano'n nag-oil up sa akin eh. And I, again, I have really oily skin. So, yeah, I don't think it will work on uh, people with really, really oily skin. I will continue using this and update the description box or update you guys on my vlogs. If you don't know yet, I do weekly vlogs. I upload it in the middle of the week. That's it for this review. I hope this was helpful. Please do like it if it was. Subscribe if you're not yet already. And do not forget, I upload videos every other day. And yeah! See you guys on my next one. Be good.